Welcome to Faith Revival Place International. I'm your host, Minister M.G. Mays. Let us begin in prayer. We thank you, O Lord. We thank you for all that you do for our lives. We thank you, Lord, that you reign in our hearts, our minds, and our souls. This is Ephesians 3 and 4 I talk about. And we thank you, Father, for all that you do. We thank you, Lord. We depend on you. Um, we, we go forth for you. And we pray for our brothers and sisters that are um, being persecuted around the world as well, Father. We keep them in our minds and our hearts daily. And we ask that you be strong in them and so that they can um, not deny you, that they'll keep the faith until the end. Father, I pray for your family, both Jew and Christian, the 12 tribes of Israel, and we pray over the, the Arabs, the wild seed, that they'll come to repentance and come back to the bosom of Abraham and be saved on the branch of Yahweh, and Yahweh saves Jesus. We thank you, Father, for all these things. We, we, we lift you up. And all that we do, and we say yes and amen. In your name we pray, Yahweh saves Jesus, Yeshua, we pray, amen. And today's sermon is called, Your First Love, Yahweh Saves. Your First Love, Yahweh Saves. And so we're going to be talking about this. And, and uh, may you be blessed as we go to our first scripture and that's going to be founded in Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 through 8 so let's go over there praise the Lord hallelujah the word of God says trust in Yahweh with all your heart do not rely on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him him Snamas for a word, Messiah, knowledge the Messiah. And when he will level your path, don't be uh, concentrated about your own wisdom, but reverent Yahweh and turn from evil. This will bring health to your body and give strength to your bones, or some translations say marrow. Um, so the deep of your bones, God will strengthen them. He wouldn't say that unless he would. Think about that. And so we need to have our hearts pure before God only. We can't have it with other things. You know, we have to have God first in our hearts and our minds. And we, we got to be willing to... Um, do his will on earth as it is in heaven. His mitzvah. And we, we need to be willing to rely on God's understanding instead of what we would magic to be our neighbors, our friends, or would, would think of it. What, what God's understanding, let it be our understanding. Amen. And so focusing on our first love in that way. Amen. So now let us go on while we're contemplating on these things let us go to john the gospel of john chapter 14 verse 22 through 24 let us go there let us sup in god's word get our nutrition for our souls our our mind and our spirit amen praise the lord the lord is good and greatly to be praised we all said amen. And the word of God says, Judah, not the one from uh, Cariot, uh, said to him, what, 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 what has happened, Yahweh, that you are about to reveal yourself to us and not to the world? And Yeshua answered him, if someone loves me, he will keep my words. Very important. We need to keep the words of the Lord. Because he is the word. And so when we keep his words, we are loving, we acknowledging and honoring Yeshua, Yahweh saves Jesus. And my father will love him. And he will come to him and make our home with him. Someone who doesn't love me 
does not keep my words. And the words you are hearing is not my own, but that of my Father who sent me. His, his greater half that sent him. So we need to acknowledge the words of the Bible, the words and the very words that, that when we acknowledge God's word, we're acknowledging his words, we're, we're seeing and we're, we're taking in the words of this Bible. We are, we are acknowledging and honoring Jesus himself. Do you see that? When, when we, when, from Genesis to Revelation, everything between, when we read these words, when we understand what we are honoring Jesus himself, when we, when we pick this Bible up. So those that seem to say that we don't need the Bible of today, they're, let them be liars. I'm sorry, because we need the word. We need the Holy Spirit. We need to get in God's word and the Holy Spirit as well. Because when we do that, we are honoring Jesus. We're honoring him. We're, we're saying we want you. We want all of you. We want to understand from Genesis to Revelation and everything between the, the goodness of God and be part of that. Partakers of you, of you and your holiness. And we're being sanctified when we read God's word as well. And, and we are keeping our first love with Yahweh saved strong, amen, by doing these things. So let us go to Matthew chapter 6, verse 19 to 34. And that's what it's all about, my beloved brothers and sisters, 12 tribes of Israel and wild seed Arabs. Listen, because this is what it's all about. It's guarding your hearts and your first love with God. You know, so let us uh, read now. And the word of God says, Do not store up for yourself wealth here on earth, where moth and rust destroy, burgers uh, break in and steal. Instead, store up for yourself wealth in heaven, where neither moths nor rust destroy. Burgers do not break in and steal, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. There your heart will be also. So where does your treasure lie? And, and it should be in your first love, right? It should not be in actual treasures of this earth, but actually the, the treasure of all should be your Lord and Savior. Amen? And then, in the, in the course, your your husband and wife, that and your kids, their dairy, and then fa your family and friends. But first thing, first most, is with the Lord. Amen. The eye is the lamp of the body. So if you have good eye, that is, if you are generous, your whole body will be full of light. But if you have an evil eye, if you are stingy, your whole body will be full of darkness. And if then the light is, the, if, if then the light in you is darkness, how great is that darkness? No one can be slaves to two masters, for he will either hate the first, or love the second, or scorn the second, and be loyal to the first. You can't be slaves to both God and money. You cannot be slaves to both God and money. Did you hear that? So we need to pick. Either we're going to love money more than God, or we're going to lust over money, and push God aside like many of on this earth do daily. They lust over their money, which is the root of all evil, the lust. It's not just the love. It's actually the, the original word is lust, literally the word lust. So we can't lust over money. You can't lust over the things of this world. It's, it's the devil's love. 
but also there's a fake love out there, you know, um, that's not from God as well. And so we need to be in the benefication of the beauty of God and say, yes, Lord, we will not have treasures that are worthless. We're going to have you as our treasure. We're going to understand our the relationship with God as the most treasured thing of your whole being. And if, if you say it's something else, well, you need to get on your knees tonight or in the morning, whatever uh, you're watching this, and you need, you need to get right with God. Simply as that. Because the number one treasure of your life is your relationship with God. And then with, with your, your, uh, your intimate family, which would be your, you know, if you're married, your husband and wife, or if you're not married, it'll be your brother and sister that you need, that you only will have them and you don't have any other and they're unique as your brother and sister. So you got to take care of them. Um, and your friends. So it's very important to understand that our treasures lie with God, not with the things of this earth. And be very careful to let money not become a lustful thing in your life. It can be very much happen. You can see throughout the world, both poor and rich, how the lust of money has destroyed them. And so we got to be very careful with that. We need to make sure our hearts lie first with God before anything else. Amen. So let's go now to Joel. Joel the prophet, the book of Joel. We're going to chapter 2, verse 21 through 27. Let us go over there. Let's up in God's word some more. Let's get the nutrition that we need. Amen. For today spiritually and so social so your soul full you know your soul which is your motion your mind and your your will amen we got to feed that with the word as well as our spiritual uh part you know our, our heart and our spirit amen and so now let us uh read don't don't fear our soul be glad, rejoice, for Yahweh has done great things. Amen. He has. He's done great things and he continues to do great things. Even when the world scorns God, well, they won't be scorning God very much longer when they, they get smacked down because of what they've done in their own life and saying bad things to God and to his, his kids. Mark my words, there's a day coming, and it's real soon, right around the corner, where the wicked will be crying and not full of joy, because they will be under God's judgment. The day of the Lord is at hand. It is here, and it's already started. And God's judgment is, is for the unrighteous, the wicked, the lukewarm. For the righteous, he holds, he cuddles, he he draws his knowledge and through his word and holy spirit and we go forth as his kids and and bringing his splendorness in the world through his light and salt in us amen and where the oil and the wine comes in that brings us joy unspeakable full of glory amen so let, let us continue don't be afraid wild animals for the desert Pastures are green. The trees are putting on, out their fruits. The fig trees and the vines are giving full yield. Be glad, people to Zion, which is the born again, both Jew and Christian, and those that take up and that are part of the twelve tribes of Israel that are born again. Amen. Including the wild sea, the Arabs, the Arabs coming back to the bosom of Abraham. Um, Rejoice in Yahweh your God, Elohim, for he is giving you the right amount of rain in fall. He makes the rain come down for you in the fall and the spring rain. This is what he does first. 
Then the floors will be full of grain. He's talking to the righteous. This has nothing to do with everybody on the earth, but the, those that are born again. This is who he's talking to. I want to make that very clear. It has nothing to do with the whole everybody on there. This is the righteous. This is what he does for you, for me, that are faithful with to the Lord. Amen. And the vast overflows with wine and oil, olive oil. Amen. Praise the Lord. I will restore to you your years that the locusts ate, those that are bad, those that are trying to do bad things. It's going to restore what, what the devil tried to do bad in your life. And you stayed strong and you said no to those things and you said yes to the Lord. For the grasshoppers, the sure worm and the cutter worm, my great army that I send against you, you will eat until you are satisfied. Amen. And and will praise the name of Yahweh, your God, Elohim, who has done with you much wonders. And, and, my, men, and then many people will never again be ashamed. And you will know that I am with Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel, including those that are Arabs that get saved and come back to the bosom of Abraham. Amen. And, and that I am Yahweh, your God, Elohim. And that there is no other. And that my people will never again be slammed. And boy, doesn't it seem like sometimes we all feel like we're getting slammed by the evil people. But you know what? Be of good cheer, it says in the word, for the Lord has overcome the world, even our faith. And he calls us his little flock. So even when we have trials, temptations, and, uh, you know, being in slaughter that happened to our lives, we we need to remain in the Lord as he's remained in us. Concentrating on our first love. So whatever state we're in, we're concentrating on our first love. Because that's where our, the treasures of our heart lie. Amen. It's, or should lie. We're, amen. And so let us go to 2 Samuel chapter 22, verse 31 through 49. Let us go there. Amen. The word of God says, as for God Elohim, his ways are perfect. Amen. His ways are perfect. The word of Yahweh. The word of Yahweh. You know who the word of Yahweh is, right? It's Yahweh saves Jesus. Yeshua the Messiah is the word of Yahweh. Has been tested by fire. He, he shields all who takes refuge in him. And the Messiah. Refuge in the Messiah. Let's read that again to make it very clear. Remember him means we're either word or Messiah. Which distinguishes Yahweh saves. Amen Jesus. He shields all who takes refuge in the Messiah. For who is God Elohim but Yahweh? And who is the rock but God Elohim? Amen. No other God but Yahweh. And Yahweh says, God Elohim is my strength and my protection. He makes my ways go straight. He makes me swift and sure footed as the deer. Enables me to stand on the high places. He trains my hands for war until my arms can bend a bronze bow and you know that's bronze we're talking bending it so supernatural strength supernatural things and physically and spiritually in our intellect our minds and you give me your shield with salvation amen you answer me your answers make me great Amen. So we have the answers 
flowing through us through the Holy Spirit and the Word of God going in daily. Amen. You wait my steps I take, and yet my ankles do not bend. Amen. And uh, so, so the Lord takes care of us. You see that? We take care of our first love, our treasures of our heart towards God first before all things. Amen. He takes care of his beautiful people, his beloved. That's one thing he loves to call his people, his beloved. And whom he loves. And whom he wants to share his holiness with. He doesn't share it with anybody. But those that are born again. The, the, the 12 tribes of Israel that are born again. And the, the Arabs coming back to the bosom of Abraham. And being saved. And Yahweh saves as well. I pursue my enemies and wipe them out. Without turning back until they are destroyed. Destroying them. Crushing them. And they can't get up. And they fall under my feet. Amen. This is, this is the God we serve. For, for you embrace me with your strength for battle. And bend down my adversaries beneath me. And you make my enemies turn their backs in the fight. So that I can destroy those who hate me. And they look but there is no help for them. Even to Yahweh. But he doesn't answer. I polarize them like dust on the ground, pounding and stamping on them like the mud of the streets. You also uh, freed me from the quarrels of my people. You keep me to be the, the head of the nations, a person I did not know nor I serve. Foreigners come crying to me, and the moment they hear of me, they obey me. Foreigners lose heart as they struggle for their fortresses. Amen. So this is the God we serve. This is what he does for those that, that keep their treasures of their first love towards the Lord. Amen. And no other. Thanks. Yahweh is alive. Blessed is my rock. Exalted be our God Elohim. The rock of my salvation. The God Elohim who gives me vengeance. And makes people submit to me. Amen. He'll make people submit to us. That are, that are in the world. When we are. Our place is right with God. And our first love. Is where our treasures lies with the Lord. Amen. He brings me out from my enemies. He raises me over those who rebel against me. You rescue me from a violent men and women. Amen. He is the God that looks after those that have their first love in God and not other things. Their treasures lie in heaven heavenly things and not earthly things and unfortunately most of you synagogues and churches you have your treasures lying on this earth and this hurts the Lord's heart very much because he wants you to partake in all these blessings that he has for for the righteous but he can't call you righteous because you're you're not don't have a right relationship with him you don't have your first uh, treasures of your heart lying with him you have your treasures lying with the lust of money and the lust of other things of this world you must have your first love in the Lord of hosts and only him do you serve and love before anything else amen that doesn't mean he doesn't want you to have money but you must focus on the treasures
Messiah. It's through Yeshua the Messiah that we give these sacrifice and offerings amen and how do we do that you might say well what i always told you through the blood through praying and saying lord your blood be on my guilt my pain my soul whatever it is or your family members you the stranger you plead the blood of the lord on there let me tell you this is the lord has spoke we should do these things as, as he spoke through his word. You yourself, a living stone, are being built into a spiritual house to be Kohims, set apart for God Elohim to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to the Messiah, which is him, through Yeshua the Messiah. Amen. This is why the Tanakh says, and, and it's referring um, to the Old Testament or, or the, the first part of the Bible, amen, and says, Look, I am laying to Zion a stone, a chosen and precious cornerstone, and whoever rests in his trust on it will certainly be, uh, certainly not be humiliated. See, it's it's relying. Are you inserted in the Messiah today? Are you just like certain a uh, paper in your Bible, closing it? That is where we need to rely with the Lord. We need to be in the Lord, in His presence, in His Word, in Him, and Him we trust. God Almighty, Amen. Now to you who keep trusting. He is precious, but to those who are not trusting, the very stone that the builders rejected have been the, the cornerstone, which is the Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, Yahweh saves. Also, he is the stone that has made people stumble, a rock over with they trip. Amen. They are stumbling at the word, the Messiah, the word, uh, disobeying, disobeying it, disobeying the Messiah, disobeying his word. Don't do that as had been planned. But you are the chosen people. Amen. You are the cho what are the chosen 12 tribes of Israel, the first fruits out of them. The, and and the, the Arabs that are, go back to the bosom of Abraham are the first fruits of righteousness as well that, that are saved through Yahweh saves. Amen. The king Co Kohims, we are the king's priests. The king being the Messiah, Yahweh saves. A holy nation, we are a separate holy nation. You notice that? We don't need to claim like we used to when we were in the world, like we're American or Russian or, or African or whatever. Have We are heavenly. Uh, we are our heavenly citizens now. That's why it says a holy nation. A people of God, Elohim, to possess. So he wants to go inside us through his spirit, amen, his Holy Spirit, amen. Why? In order for you to declare the praises, amen, to declare the praises of the one who called you out of darkness into the wonderful light. Once you were not a people, but now you are God Elohim's people, amen. We are heavenly citizens. Be, before you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. We have received the mercies of God. Those that are born again, both Jew and Christian, the 12 tribes of Israel and the Arabs that go back to the bosom of Abraham. That are, and, and they acknowledge what, what Yahweh saves did on the cross of Calvary. Amen. So we are are his people his and we need to do his ways and not our ways we need to do his intellect ways amen 
We need to take care of our first love, which is Yahweh saves. Our treasures lie with you, Father God, not things of this earth that will moss and, and rust will corrupt. We it lies with our Yahweh saves. Amen. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Let's go to Revelations chapter 1, verse 5b to 8. Let us read. And the word of God says to him, the one who loves us, to the Messiah, to the one who loves us, who has freed us from sins of the cost of his blood. Amen. To who, to who has caused us to be a kingdom, heavenly citizens, that is Kohim's for God Elohim, priests, set apart of the set apart. This Father to him be the glory, and the world is forever, and amen. Amen. Look, he is coming with a cloud. Every eye will see him, the Messiah, including those who pierce him. You might say, Lord, how, how you pierced him to the Lord. You know, people in the world today are, are the lukewarm, but it happens through not trusting God. It happens through the lust of, of money, through the lust of things and friends and, and all kinds of different things. Don't do that. Don't do that to God. He loves you. You're his beloved. He loves you. So don't do these things. Go and keep your first love right with him. And then all these things will be added unto you. The first seek the kingdom. That's seeking the kingdom. It's keeping your first love strong and holy. And purified and good. Yahweh saves loves you. Look he's coming in the clouds. Every eye will see him. Including those who pierce him. All the, tri all the tribes of the earth will mourn him. Yes and amen. So you, you hear what it's saying? I am the the Aleph and the Tav, says Yahweh. God Elohim of the heavenly armies. And the one who is, who was, and who is to come. The same yesterday, today, and forever he is to us. And he'll never change. God is the perfect God Almighty. And he will take care of those that their first love lies with God. And the treasures are, that's where the treasures are with him. Amen. Not other things. So we need to be careful. My brothers and sisters, 12 tribes of Israel that make the church and the Jews and the, the Arabs that are being saved today. They're going, they're drawing back to the bosom of Abraham, being saved because of the cross of Calvary, Yahweh saves, Jesus has done for you. And while you think on these things, let us go to Psalms chapter 100, verse 1 through 5. And the word of God says, Shout for joy for Yahweh, all the earth. Serve Yahweh with gladness. Don't serve him with sadness, but gladness. Amen. Enter the presence with joyful songs. Be aware that Yahweh is God Elohim. It, it, it is he who makes us and he will, has us. His people, his flock, his pasture. It's his, We are in him. Amen. The Messiah. Hallelujah. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. We need to be thankful what God has done every day for us. Enter his courts with praise. And we need to have praise uh, about how good our God is. Give thanks to him and bless his name. And we need to give thanks to the Messiah and bless his name. Yahweh saves, for Yahweh is good, and his grace continues forever, and his faithfulness lasts through all generations. Amen. 
So let this nurture you and what the scripture has said. And make sure your first love is always with Yahweh says, Jesus. Please, I, I, I adjure you this day. And while you are thinking and, and, and preparing your hearts with the Lord further, let us end this with so, uh, Proverbs. Proverbs 21, 21. So let's go to the verse 21 here. Proverbs 21. He who pursues righteousness and kindness finds life, prosperity, and honor. It's a simple thing. It's a simple thought, but it carries with it great understanding. Do you understand? Let us read it one more time. And I'll read it a little slower so we all can nurture in these things. He who pursues, and I'm going to translate it a little bit on more understanding. He who pursues right relationship with God. And kindness finds life, prosperity, and honor. Let's read it one more time. Because this in, in the Hebrew of righteousness represent right relationship with God. So let's read it one more time. He who pursues a right relationship with God, kindness finds life, and prosperity, and honor. Life, prosperity, and honor. And the prosperity is not the prosperity of the world, but the prosperity that God is speaking to us of, of treasures of heaven. Amen. Back into your first love with Yahweh saves. So how is your first love with Yahweh today? How How is it? Is it strong or is it weak? Are you zealous and full of joy for your Lord and Savior today? Or, or is it lying with more things of this earth today? And, if, and, it, and it's good to question yourself on these things. It's good to rehearse these things and ask yourself, how am I with the Lord today? Because don't we want our treasures in heaven with the Lord? And our relationship with the Lord to be the strongest we can have it humanly possible or with the Holy Spirit's help. Don't we want it that way? Don't, don't we want our first love with Yahweh saves Jesus to be the strongest we can make it? We, and the answer is yes, we do. But if it's weakened, if it's because of the trials of this world, and if you are not born again, and if you're walking like you shouldn't, and and you know it. Just pray this prayer. Let's get it. Let's get right with God today. Let's make sure that our treasures are as strong as possible, lying with with the Lord. That our treasure, most precious treasure, is God Almighty Himself, our first love. So pray this prayer with me. And if, if you have a loved one and and they they're kind of hard nosed about getting saved, well pray this. Represent them today, please, and and don't don't worry. Just represent them today, and and you'll see a change in them, and they'll they'll come to the Lord today. It says, "Whoever has heavy laden, come to the Lord." Amen. So we need to represent them as well. So let us pray, dear God Yahweh, I ask you into my spirit, soul, and body. As Lord and Savior of my life. Love you very much, Yeshua Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. We, we pray over those that prayed that. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord. Well, welcome to the family of God or, 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 or bless you. Thank you for praying for your loved ones and your friends that need to be saved today as well. So this is a point of time where I'm going to pray over the sick and heavy laden. But before we do, I want to in, reinforce to those that just got saved. You, you have a fresh start now with the Lord. 
you you're no longer part of this worldly system of, of these kingdoms of this earth you're a heavenly citizen you are a born again and, and so you are now adopted in this as a son and daughter of the most high god amen you're employed by god you're a bondsman bond servant for the lord in the modern word for that is employ from our employer being God. Amen. And we, we do his will on earth as in heaven. And that's where you get the mitzvah word um, that uh, comes in. That we are following his ways, his enlightenment on our lives. And we're doing his will on earth as is in heaven. And we're doing it in a joyful way, bringing the gospel to those that don't have it. Amen. And those that need it are reinforced it. And, and amen so all these things are yours much more but this is the basis of these things and I want to to, to uh, encourage you and also to be baptized with water the sanctification the second witness so be find someone that can baptize you and if you're in one of these countries that are hard nosed on these things well the Lord will bless you if you baptize yourself in the bathtub, okay? These are for people that are in an, you're in a nation that they don't allow anything and you have to do it secretly because they'll, they'll get you. We understand that. God understands that. We all understand that with, with what your situation is. So simply fill the bathtub halfway up, pray really good, and then duck yourself under real quick. Dock yourself up, and you, you'll it'll be you'll get the same blessing as someone that has a free, a little bit freer nation that can do that with a with witnesses and, and someone that can do that for you. But if you can't, the Lord will honor that. The angels of God will will be your witness. Will be there to witness that, and it'll be the same way. God will bless you in that way, because God is the God of mercy and grace, and and. He loves us and he'll make a way where there's no way at all. That's what it says in his word. So if, if that's your case, he will honor that. But if it's not your case and you live in a pretty free nation, because no such thing as a real free nation anymore, anywhere, no, no nation is really free. But when God's kingdom comes, it will be really free then under the direction of God. Amen. But right now, um, so you know these things, amen. So now we're going to move on to praying for the sick and heavy led and among us. So I need to explain something to, to, to this group that needs a healing or, or, uh, you have a broken heart or maybe your mind needs to be focused a little bit more. God, God is the one that takes care of these things. We just need to pray to Him. But also I need to make you understand when you're in the transition of believing like you are now, to the transition of receiving, the receiving end of it, you need to not let doubt, fear, talk, which I call toxic emotions, come in. You need to show those things to the door. I say, I don't have time for you. I only have time for believing to the receiving end of it. Amen. Just like a receiver in, in the uh, football, you know, someone passes it, they receive it, and they either run with it or they pass it on. So, and when you receive it, and you're in the right area, you can get that touchdown, which is called, in this case, your healing, you know. And so, let us pray. We thank you, Father. We praise you. We give you glory, honor, and praise. We thank you for all things. We thank you for a healing virtue going upon them now as they receive it through their believing. And we thank you, Father. That your scepter of mercy is being extended. And they will, will feel your glory. They will feel your splendors. They will feel your love and holiness right now. The angels wrap around them. Protect them. as While the Father God is anointing them with, with the oil of the Holy Spirit. And I thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. Yahweh saves it. you, our Father God, to us all. And we love you. We honor you. We thank you. We, we curse that cancer to the root. You got you got to leave there. Name of Jesus, Yeshua. 
No, no, you can't stay cancer. You can't stay back aches. You can't stay you headaches. In the name of the Lord, you go. Allergies go. Colds go. Everything that is under the knee in the name of Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, Yahweh saves. Every knee will bow. Every tongue confess. And that's including all the little things that, that bother the people. And I thank you, Father. They, as they believe, let them receive now, like measures. And may your holiness make them all whole. In the name of the Lord, we pray. Yahweh saves Jesus Christ, Yeshua. We pray, Amen. Now let us end this with the Shalom prayer blessing. Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Wholeness that brings you the peace that passes all understanding. Be with you. May you be guided by the Spirit of God. May you obey God's word. May you uh, um, go forth and keep your relationship holy with God. And then holy with your family. And then holy with your friends. May your treasures lie in heaven and not on earth. May the Shalom of God be with you. May the Shalom of God be with you. Shalom to you. Shalom.